little Bible study we're having, talking about the Bible scriptures that come to mind. One that's come to mind just now is Second uh, Timothy 3, and just know that in the last days perilous times shall come. Well, we're here. Men shall be boasters, proud, children disobedient to parents. That's underline that. Children are killing their parents. Having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. Churches that deny the Holy Spirit, that deny the body of Christ to function, each member in particular being active in the expression of the word of Christ. He that has a psalm, he that has a revelation, someone has a tongue, someone has an interpretation of tongues, gift of healing. All these things are should be operative in the assembly. Anyway, we're talking about perilous times. Perilous means very dangerous. And the pitfalls are Uh, false apostles false teachers Jesus said go not after them just flat out don't go after them those that say lo here's Christ which means my ministry is anointed I'm anointed I'm ordained etc like that In most cases uh, that is not true they are not ordained by Christ they're ordained by men and by men like Paul the apostle was ordained by Jesus he was apostle Jesus and ordained by Jesus. So he was not subjected to a man, he was subjected to God. And that is the calling of God is without repentance. When God calls somebody, it's a forever calling as long as they are alive. There's no retirement for prophets. There's no retirement for teachers who are called of God. It's a it's a life long calling take heed that you fulfill the calling the ministry that God has given you that you fulfill it brother